Hi everyone and welcome back to the Botanical Witch. Today I wanted to show you how to make a mini Beltane altar. Beltane is celebrated in the Northern Hemisphere between April 31st and May 1st. It's also called May Day. It's a joyous time of year as we are now at the peak of spring. And this is a time of celebration and happiness, and we honor life, fertility, sexuality, passion, and energy. There's new life peaking, and the Earth's energies are at the strongest and most active. So come sit for a spell, and let's get started. First, I'm going to cleanse my sacred space and all of my tools and crystals that I'll be using. I'm using frankincense tears today, but you can use anything that calls out to you. You'll need some sort of glass plate or bowl that you can set on your altar easily. You'll also need a candle. I'm using a pink tea light candle as pink is associated with Beltane, but use whatever you have on hand. Because the Earth's energy is at its strongest and most active right now, I decided to add a little bit of soil or dirt to my altar plate. Next, I'm going to add some pink Himalayan salt. And salt in general is very cleansing and purifying, but pink Himalayan salt is great for anything that has to do with love and the heart. The first herb that I'm going to add to this altar plate is dandelion, and this is really great for bringing luck, balance, happiness, and love. The color yellow is also associated with Beltane. I also wanted to add in some dried rose petals as this is also associated with Beltane and it's great for beauty, blessings, emotional healing, friendship, and of course love. And Beltane is actually a celebration of life and fertility, sexuality, passion, bringing that love energy into your life whether that be romantic or self-love. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of lavender, and lavender is great for purification, for love, of course, happiness, and peace. Next, I'm adding in coriander seed, and this is great for inspiring love and helping it to grow and flourish in your life. I'm also adding in peppermint. I'm using fresh peppermint, but you can use dried as well. This plant reminds me of springtime because it's very refreshing, and springtime is a great time to refresh anything in your life that needs to be either banished or that needs to be manifested. I'm also going to add in some dried carnations that I dried from Mother's Day last year. I thought this was a really good touch 
to a Beltane altar as it's still kind of cold here and not a lot of flowers are blooming yet so this will bring a little bit of color. Now it's time to add in some crystals. I'm using Rose Quartz for love, and I'm also using Clear Quartz because it's not only a magnifier to spells, but it's great for any type of spell. Last but not least, I'm going to add in some frankincense tears to my mini altar. And like I said before, this is really good for joy and celebrating. Your Beltane altar is complete. The last step is lighting your candle. You can do this every day leading up to Beltane or just on Beltane and set this on a bedside table, living room table, or on your altar and enjoy the beauty of this season. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Until next time, have a magical day.